All right, uh, we're going to measure the windings on a old PSC motor. First, we want to set up our multimeter for resistance measurement. Set our multimeter to ohms and make sure that we're plugged into common and the ohms terminal. It won't work if you're plugged into your amp setting. First, uh, the multimeter is indicating OL, which is an open circuit. So we've got the two probes are open. We're going to test our multimeter by shorting our two probes together. And we should see a resistance well under one ohm. It's not going to be zero probably because there's going to be some uh, resistance in the wires and also some resistance building up on your probes. But before you do a test, test that you're measuring well under an ohm. Okay, we're going to open up our motor. Before we do the resistance measurement of the windings, we want to remove the cap. Now should we have our motor unplugged at this stage? We should definitely have our motor unplugged. Do not do this on a live motor. Alright, I've got three wires coming out of the motor here. Our common wire and our two windings, the start winding and the run winding. What we're going to do is measure from the common point, press your multimeter leads in hard, whatever you're doing when you're doing a resistance measurement, push your multimeter in and uh, leads in hard so you get a nice contact. Holding on that, so on this one I'm seeing about 7 ohms. Really what we're checking for here is are we seeing an open, which would look like that, or are we seeing a short circuit, which would look like that. What we're going to expect to see on a winding is several ohms. Then we're going to check the other winding. This one we're seeing about 4 ohms. Don't expect to see the same resistance on the two windings. The two windings are different. So uh, don't stress if they're different. If you see both of these measurements as open, then that may indicate that the thermal cutout, which is on the common wire inside the pump, is open. So if both windings are appearing as, uh, as open, there's a fair chance that it's actually the thermal cutout that is the fault, not two faulty windings.